Hi, this is Lucy and thanks for joining me today. I'm going to make a birthday card and first off I've just die cut a piece of watercolour card and I'm going to be using a few Distress Oxide inks but I'm just going to use them lightly. I'm going to use sponge sugar, worn lipstick and tumbled glass. I have some of these um, brushes which I just bought cheaply off Amazon. They're actually makeup brushes, but um, they seem to do the same thing. And um, I get a nice smooth coverage as long as I'm going fairly lightly. I have sped this part up. Um, of course, it's not my as fast as I would normally go, <laughs> um, but just so that uh, it doesn't bore you too much. But you can still see that it takes um, a few little coverages to to get the right amount of color that I want. I also wanted to bring in a little bit of yellow um, as well. So this is squeezed lemonade and I've just added a little bit of that as well. I have here a uniquely creative uh, stamp and I'm just going to use a little bit. I think this was hickory smoke but I only want second generation stamping so I'm I really want it just to be very light. I don't want you to be able to read anything. And so um, I'm just going over it in a few little spots there just to add a little bit more interest. I also have some stencils here. So I've just chosen this one and I've got some translucent um, gel, but I don't want it to be completely translucent so I'm just going to use a little bit of white gesso as well and this will just help to have the colors underneath come through but not fully. I'm using a cheap makeup sponge. I bought a big pack of 20 for a few dollars and um, they come in handy because you can wash them if you do it straight away. Uh, the paint will come up but if not you can easily throw them away too. So that just gives a little bit. I didn't want um, a complete coverage so I made sure not to go around all the edges um, of that stencil so that I just had part, part bits of it. And now I'm using the same inks to create this feather dye. Now the watercolour um, card and that stencil and this feather die are all from Uniquely Creative and I'll have their link to their store in the description below. Now I have a lot of trouble with playing around trying to get what I like with this um, with this feather. So I've used um, a couple of the inks and then I've also sprayed it with my water bottle that has a little bit of gold perfect pearls in there as well. So that's taken up some to give it nice texture and then I'm just going back over it. But in the end, um, I, I'm still not happy with how this looks at this moment, but um, that just gives me uh, an opportunity to just keep trying different things. The feather didn't seem to stand out too much on the background and that's not what I wanted so I'm just trying to add in a little bit more of the worn lipstick ink uh, with the dauber and then smoothing that out as well. I add a little bit of blue to the sides as well the tumbled glass and still not fully happy with it. I die cut the feather as well a few extra times so that I could give real height to it and make it more of a feature on the card rather than using foam tape because it's quite intricate. Um, it would have been too hard to do. So it's worked out nicer to add um, about another three layers, I think two layers, but using the watercolor card again, which is very, very thick. And so then this is uh, such a sturdy embellishment to go on the card and looks really nice. 
Now I'm going to add um, the background to some gold glitter paper, which isn't a very bright um, yellowy gold. It's, it's a really nice shimmer to it. So I just thought that this would add a little bit of an interest um, behind the background I've created and then I can add it on to a card front. Um, I'm going to use double-sided tape but also I'll use a little bit of glue as well because I want to make sure that it stays on well uh, whenever you're um, gluing anything onto glitter card. If you've tried it in the past you'll know that it's quite hard to make sure that it stays secure and um, stays for good. So on the background um, I don't need to worry about it so much on this side of the glitter paper because it's normal paper not glitter on there and so I can just add that to the card front and know that that will stay strong. So now I'm trying to decide whether to actually create a gold feather and originally I was just going to be trying to use this thin piece that's in the middle um, to create some interest on that feather that I've already created um, and I decided I liked it. My little glue pen wouldn't go in there without making a bit of a mess so I'm using this uniquely creative glue pen which is perfect for these tiny little intricate um, spots to put glue into and I really liked how that gold feather looked so I decided to add to keep that in um, and now I'm trying to figure out how to to create more interest on this feather as I'm really not I'm still not happy with it. So I tried using a glitter that was a perfect color for the glitter paper, but it, um, yeah, it just still, it just didn't have that really nice finish. So now I'm just putting my finger into the perfect pearls, the gold, and this has got a beautiful shimmer to it and it looks really nice. Um, here it looks very yellowy gold but it's actually not when you see the photos closer up afterwards um, it you can still see the pink ink underneath and the other colors so it looks very nice some of the scraps of the watercolor card i'm just adding here to give height to the sentiment and a little extra structure to it so that's a really good way of using up all the watercolor paper seeing as it's so thick and beautiful and I only needed a small amount of it so I'm just gluing these down and I use if you've seen my videos before you know that I use the Sally's Aquadare um, glues in my little bottle there and this helps secure things down really really well too so I'm just going to add the sentiment. Now I didn't end up using that glitter um, before and so I decided to put down some of my glue and add some of that seeing as it went so well with that gold paper. Um, so just the glue, just adding some of these but um, I couldn't quite figure out where to put these the little glitter dots up here so I did a few and then see what I liked and what I didn't like. Two of them I put too close together so what I'll do is I'll just um, carefully scrape it off while it's still wet and then you can't tell that there was one there. I don't want four up the top and I was trying to decide which ones I liked best the other one I just um, quickly wiped off and you won't be able to tell later on everything came up. So. so now I'm just going around with a little brush to take off any of the excess glitter that's not uh, sealed down and then the card is finished. I hope um, you've enjoyed watching this video and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. I love to read the comments on which, which cards you like as well. So if you liked this one, please let me know.
Thanks. Bye.